The National Basketball Association is known for its fireworks, fans, and fanfare. But this has been a rough season. Here I am in New York City, right by the world headquarters of the National Basketball Association. It's been a tough year for the NBA, with losses set to hit $400 million this season. So the league is looking for innovative new ways to bring in money. For fans, that means lower prices on tickets and scaled back pre-show entertainment. For teams and the NBA, it means job cuts. Well, our teams have uh, uh, done a number of cutbacks since the recession began. They've laid off employees. We have uh, made substantial cuts in workforce. Um, and we know that every dollar is being watched a lot more closely than it used to be. League-wide, the NBA has eliminated about 400 jobs. Franchises like the Atlanta Hawks in the southern state of Georgia are focused on finding creative ways to keep seats filled and make money. The Atlanta Hawks are offering discounts and incentives to keep fans coming to the games because team officials know that once fans are here, they're going to spend money. We've got military night discounts, we've got college night discounts where if, with a military or college ID you can enjoy games for half price any night of the week. Uh, we've got over a thousand tickets that are priced at ten dollars for every single home game, no restrictions. So there, there's a number of things like that that we're doing to, you know, to maintain a, a value-based proposition for those fans who have been impacted by the economy. That's how we roll, ATL baby number one! Keeping ticket prices low this season has kept attendance figures from falling drastically. They're only down about one percent. And players say that having the fans there to cheer them on helps them to win. Okay. It's a good feeling. And, uh, you know, it's, it's good to be loved, you know. It's, it's good to be welcome, especially when you're out of the country. It's good to be welcome from, from the fans and from the city. It's very important. The recent recession isn't the only obstacle to the NBA's profits. The league says player salaries are part of what is keeping costs high. Our teams have built in, uh, um, you know, expenses that continue to rise. They're locked into long-term player contracts. They have adopted a certain approach with respect to the players, with respect to, you know, charter arrangements and first-class treatment. Um, and they have spent on other places as well. With expenses high and the economic outlook uncertain at home, the NBA is eyeing other potential markets abroad. It has a sizable operation in China, as well as several exhibition games planned in Europe this year, including Spain and the United Kingdom, to help boost its profile overseas. I, I think the NBA has done a wonderful job of brand building. Um, you know, they are a, truly a global brand. Their players represent countries all over the world. They have a fan base all over the world. They continue to attract new demographics here at home. And I think that they've done an excellent job of building their brand globally, which is the key to withstanding any recession. Actually, China is our second largest market, and the appeal is that it's a great game. People like sports. Basketball has been an Olympic sport since 1936. And uh, believe it or not, the Chinese sent the team to the Berlin Olympics that first year and they finished 16th out of 22. So there's a basketball tradition around the world and as a result over 80 of our players are from international uh, competition. But we have been here before. Other U.S. sports like the NFL have made many ultimately doomed attempts to expand overseas. To become properly popular abroad is a long shot but one the NBA is aiming for with confidence. They just hope they can pull it off.